hi guys so here we got some red onions uh, green chilies and we got some tomatoes pandan leaf and always some curry leaves the spices today we have is some cardamom and some crushed peppercorns pepper and some cumin powder and chili powder and moldy fish and always some turmeric powder and also I've, uh, have some ginger garlic paste and here I've cut the ash plantain into cubes and marinated them with salt and turmeric and then I have deep fried them so it's all good same with the brinjal onto your right brinjal I've cut it into cubes marinated with turmeric and salt and I have deep fried them and set aside so it's all good to go and with the coconut milk you need to have two types of coconut milk this one is the first extract so this is a thick coconut milk this one is very thick and the next one is very thin coconut milk which I have diluted with water so that's a very thin coconut milk that's the second that's the second extract sorry so these are the ingredients that we need to get started pretty simple pretty straightforward what we're gonna do is pour in the thin coconut milk straight into the pan so this is the thin coconut milk which is diluted with water you don't want to add too much coconut milk this is kind of a, a very creamy and thick uh, kind of a dish so to this coconut milk we are adding in all the veggies we're adding in the onions first the red onions the pandan leaf uh, green chilies curry leaves tomatoes and uh, we're going to throw in a bunch of spices let me get a spoon cardamom powder some pepper we put the cardamom and then pepper chili powder not too much you don't want it to be hot and cumin powder cumin powder is absolutely delicious for this dish a little bit of pepper So the spices that goes in is pepper, chili powder, cumin powder, turmeric powder, not any other spices, and ginger garlic paste. Freshly ground ginger garlic paste. And mix it very well with a spoon. Mix all the spices together. And never forget to add turmeric. So it's just four spices: turmeric powder, chili powder, cumin powder, and pepper. Mix it well, and we are gonna put it in the cooker and simmer for five to six minutes. So we're gonna cover it up and simmer this gravy. I'm adding some salt. Salt is according to your taste. Always cover it up and then simmer for five to six minutes so it's been five to six minutes you can see the gravy all you got to do is at the first stage we are adding the ash plantain you never add the brinjal at the first stage always add the ash plantain mix the ash plantain Coat it up with all the gravy and we're going to cover and cook for 5 to 8 minutes so the ash plantain gets nice and cooked. Mix it very well, coat it up. there you go it's all good I'm gonna find the lid and cover the dish and it's gonna uh, simmer cook for five to eight minutes so it's been cooking for five to eight minutes at this stage I'm going to add the brinjal 
time to add the brinjal make sure you always add the brinjal after 5 to 10 minutes of cooking process with the ash plantain add the brinjal you don't want to mix it too much do not use the uh, spoon to mix it too much just 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 give it a good shake to the pan because the brinjal will start to get mushy after you add the brinjal you need to add the creamy the first extract of the coconut milk that's a thick coconut milk just add it to the dish mate the thick coconut milk adds the beautiful texture to the dish and it's absolutely magnificent absolutely delicious this is a recipe uh, that everybody loves to do it it goes very well with rice anything rice and curry so do you don't want you don't want to mix it too much just move it around gently you don't want to make the brinjal very mushy just give it a good shake so it's just mixed together and then cover and cook for five to ten minutes it's all done the brinjal is done it's everything is cooked the sri lankan kalia curry is cooked all you got to do is find some beautiful rice dish like this and enjoy your curry and this is one of the Sri Lankan Muslims favorite dish mostly on their wedding nights and wedding dinner lunch parties so do try and enjoy this recipe and uh, thank you so much for watching thank you for your uh, support and love you all have a good day